This is the trophy I got. They said I got first place on the date. I was the best. Scotty, I'm so sorry. That's we don't give trophies out. Hate to. Where did you get that trophy? <laughs> and who's Barbara? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna recap uh, what went down on the eight at eight date. So it's four girls, four guys. We went on this last night. Actually, this is really fun. We were at two Urban Licks, and uh, we had a great time. And there were a lot of different concerns that we talked about, and if you heard it on the air, one of my biggest concerns was that it was going to come off the wrong way. It was going to come off like a like a stunt, like a radio right. thing, and, and that's not what it was, and, and it's not what it was for the other people on the date, too. So that made me nervous, too, that it was going to be seen like patronizing. But it wasn't. I was actually there genuinely to meet new yeah. people, and and uh, and there were, the girls were great, the guys were awesome, too, which yeah. was another point, too. Even the guys, like, that I was like, these, I was hanging out with these guys. Yeah. Like, it wasn't. I feel like you. Were, it wasn't a date to like hook. You know, hook right. up with the, the love of your life. But you're like these people already well, become friends. I feel like uh, eighty-eight has its multi-purpose. Um, so you can meet a great contact. You can meet a great girlfriend or a guy friend. We have a lady in our office. Um, every one that she went to on four, and she met four of her best friends, four girlfriends. Yeah. Um, and then you have some people that meet the love of life. We've had over three hundred marriages. So, and that's not to say second dates and everything else that comes with that. So. She's the M word. She's marriage. This whole video is going to go down. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun. And uh, but what I wanted to talk because some of some of my concerns I had like really specific ones. The first was how I dress. Right, and I thought you did great. Um, I thought that you were yourself, which is very that's important because you don't want to sell something you're not. Um, and I thought that uh, you mingled really well with everybody. But can we talk? Can we? Yeah. Can you just say that? Um, the sport coat that Riley and Brett were wrong. <laughs> I was not wrong. I, I can't get into that one. That's, that's an office thing. They said but, that I was supposed to have wore a sport you, you coat. You could have. I, I mean, it. if you dress up sometimes and that's something you wear, that's still part of you. You chose that to put in your wardrobe, so that's something you would wear. But maybe I think for uh, two urban licks, you were so appropriately dressed. <laughs> I thought that you were great at making everybody feel comfortable, and the comments on the table were that you were so friendly, that you were engaging, and that's important on a date, and that's a lot of things that people don't have. Whenever they go on there, I think that's a natural skill that you have. That's why you're working for radio. And I was a little afraid they're going to be like, "Shut up already." No, it's good because tables can get kind of boring, kind yeah. of uh, intense because you're nervous. You don't know these people. It's the first time, but I guess what's like exciting and it's a little you get a little nervous from it. You can definitely tell when there was like uh, some awkward silences that started to happen. And, right. And then that like kind of host in me kind of kicked in. I love like, it. Though I was just like <laughs> I was banking on that happening because it can happen to some yeah. tables. But I, I told I assured everybody like, it's going to be a great table. Like there will not be yeah. any awkwardness because I knew that you're on it and I felt really really. So what did restaurants. so what did I do wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, remember, no negativity here. Improvement wise, just, I mean, I guess whenever we, when you first got there, I could tell you were nervous a little bit. And so that's why I knew it was really, like, real for you because you were a little nervous. And, um, but you quickly got your drink and then you went over and, like, mingled with the ladies. I wish you would have gotten around to more of them and you moved a little bit around. But, but otherwise, I, I thought you did really well. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a perfect dater either. It is something that takes practice. So practice makes perfect and it really applies to dating. So you get right more on. comfortable, you know? Yeah. So, when you're um, putting the table together and you were trying to pick people that mm -hmm. would um, fit together, when it came to thinking about me, what were the kind of people you were looking for to I don't know, match right. up with? Um, like I said yesterday, um, I think that you have so many qualities that are uh, admirable and someone that, you know, someone went for a husband. Um, you're a great dad already. You've already, you've already been through the process. So I know I have without a question you're going to be a great dad. So someone's like when you meet a man, like, how is he going to be a, like, how, what kind of father is he going to be? What kind of husband? But you have that commitment already. Um, you're a hard worker. To get to the radio, you've gone, you've had a long journey. Um, you've worked hard. I know you're on uh, Dancing the Stars, or was it? So you think you can so dance? You I'm not a star. <laughs> so you think you can dance? the star cool. factor. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that probably was a very difficult um, task to do. And so it just shows that you have a lot of determination. And I think whenever I was looking at people on the tables, successful people that have had also a similar journey um, that are okay with kids, um, hobbies and interests that were similar, um, smoking, non-smoking, I know, and so there's there's different things that maybe don't seem like a big deal, but I guess if you started dating them, then you would, you know, you would notice right. that. So I just made sure that the things that you told me were important, I made sure that they had those things in would their you, profile. <laughs> okay, let's go say hypothetically speaking that okay. I wanted to get married tomorrow. Okay. Do you oh! think that, well, hi, it's very hypothetical, okay. it's like imaginary pretty much, is no, what it is. No, no. Would you say that you think one of those people on the table could be that girl? Very much so. They have, I think, okay, when you build a strong marriage, it should be built on ethics, morals. It's like when you're building a house. They're your pillars. And um, and so those are the things that keep a very strong house. If they're based on the wrong things like money or, you know, physical attraction, that your house will crumble. But if they're based on the right things, I think that um, you have a strong foundation. It's something to build on. And those people that I put on the table have strong foundations that you would match up with, I think. And you would have a very strong home. 
I have. So I did okay on the day. On like Absolutely. a one to ten. I'd say a nine. What? Yeah. She's just saying that because it's on video. No. I'm she doesn't want to hurt my feelings. Seven. <laughs> I might be married in the next video. You know. Whoa. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm drunk. I had that drunk. would be my hope. I'm a hopeless romantic, so I mean, or. <laughs> To the end uh, word. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dear. Oh my dear. Oh my dear. Is that what she said? He, he says that all the time. Hey Scotty, but Scotty, he goes, Scotty, what does mean? What what what? What does mean? That means oh my dear. Oh my dear. <laughs>